and welcome to another episode of What the Health every Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Coming at you live with the latest and greatest and tried and true health trends in order to help us all get healthy and stay healthy for a lifetime. I am Dr. Dan. I want to thank you so much for stopping by this evening tonight from an undisclosed location because I am actually on lake this week uh so uh still coming at you live we are going to be discussing the summer subluxation countdown now subluxation that's a term i use in my office all the time uh many of the people who uh, see us do understand what that word means but uh still cannot pronounce it and that's okay uh but the term subluxation stands for a misalignment or motion restriction in the spine that is interfering with the normal nerve flow, nerve communication throughout the body. Uh, there are many, many um, technologies that we have in the office as a way to measure the severity, uh, measure um, you know the number of subluxations and uh, how it is ima- impacting your, your life. Uh, but we wanted to talk really, um, not what about the subluxation today, but how you get them. How would you get a a motion restriction or a misalignment in the spine uh, that would impact your uh, daily living. And so as uh, the summer is, we're entering kind of the, the last month before we uh, head back to school. So um, we're going to uh, discuss some examples of how you might misalign or restrict the spinal motion um, and how that could impact you uh, or a family member, a friend, your children, uh, whatever the case may be. So uh, point number one I wanted to bring up, one thing that I actually did today, I uh, got to take a long bike ride, had not done that for a while, but sitting on that bike um, with, my, uh, with my butt on that seat and pedaling for 18 miles around the lake, boy was I sore afterwards. So uh, if that seat is uh, one way or the other, um, if I'm, you know, hunched over, if the seat is set too high, the pedals aren't set right, um, that, you know, going, you know, 10, you know, 20 miles uh, could really, really cause an impact um, with that little bit of trauma over time. So, um, you know, bike riding, um, you know, could be one great example of how you could get a a summer subluxation. I also had another (laughs) friend of mine who uh, unfortunately does, he does a lot of downhill mountain biking. Um, That's not the unfortunate part. The unfortunate part was that he had an accident where he flipped over his handlebar several weeks ago, landed, um, you know, kind of in a roll position on his side. Uh, We think he probably cracked some ribs, but, you know, an accident like that is certainly going to cause some restriction misalignment in the spine. So, um, you know, those accidents, you know, thinking about uh, something like rollerblading, if you're doing a lot of, uh, you know, a lot more rollerblading or skating with your uh, kids, I see uh, kids all over the place with their bikes, their scooters, uh, you know, going off of um, crooked sidewalks. So, uh, you know, th- those slips and falls uh, for children, they're very uh, malleable. They uh, they bounce back pretty quickly, <laughs> literally and figuratively. Um, but uh, for adults, who uh, those of us who are 25 and older, uh, we don't tend to uh, bounce back as quickly uh, from those uh, from those injuries. So, um, you know, if you're taking a spill, you know, off of uh, you know a, a moving object, chances are you probably have a, a have a, a subluxation that could, you could benefit, um, you know, from seeing your chiropractor. Um, Again, being at the lake, I want to bring up this common example that I hear all the time and I actually heard as I was discussing uh, the vacation that I was taking. Uh, some other people said that, yeah, they were getting away to a lake and, um, you know, they were going to rent a boat and they were going to, you know, go out and, uh, you know, do some tubing or whatever. Um, tubing <laughs> on the back of a motorboat uh, is probably one of the uh, most Dev- I don't want to say most devastating, but it is highly impactful to your spine. Bouncing around, especially if there's a lot of waves out there or if the driver's whipping you around in an S-like form um, and you're hitting the wake and bouncing up. Um, it's It might not seem like much, especially if you're sitting 
and just you know observing from the boat uh, but when you're out there you are really getting a lot of impact on that spine getting twist and turn and then especially if you happen to flip off of the tube and hit the water anytime you hit the water going uh, you know 15 20 mile an hour and go from that to a dead stop uh, there's gonna be some impact on your body so uh, that is another great example of how to get uh, a subluxation and when you should see your chiropractor uh, another example that members who got uh, a bounce house or a trampoline this uh, this summer and again I get it those are fun fun things to have for kids um, but the repetitiveness of the stress bouncing up and down they, you know they jump up they land on their butts oh they they bump into a sibling and uh, you know they they slip and they they hit uh, funny uh, those subluxations for children um, you know they might not mean anything at the time that they get them but if they're there interfering uh, with their their body's ability to function um, you know nothing might not show up in you know five years ten years uh, you know but if uh, a couple decades go by um, and their spine has had that uh, trauma and it was left unchecked you know there's a there's a lot of things that could uh, that could show up later on down the line so please parents be careful with your children on the uh, the bounce houses and the trampolines um, you know again I believe they're a ton of fun I got no problem with using them uh, but it is definitely something to consider uh, getting um, you know getting checked and seeing your chiropractor making sure that there are no subluxations lurking in there um you know, so with that being said, I think I hit a couple of the big points. Um, if you have any, uh, you know, injuries, whether it's little injuries over time or big injuries on a sudden impact uh, that you'd like to share or discuss, you know, feel free to uh, make a comment down below on uh, where you may have picked up a summer subluxation. Um, and of course, as always, we can continue this discussion in our private Facebook What the Health group. And I want to thank you so much for stopping by this evening as we discuss our summer subluxation and when to get checked by your chiropractor over this summer. I am Dr. Dan. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you next week. Take care.